Good morning, Facebook world. It's Hope Bevelheimer, and uh, today I wanted to take the opportunity uh, to talk to you guys because I have a lot of stuff up in my head and wisdom and philosophies and things like that that I would like to spread with everybody. And this is more like how to have a beautiful life. And there's a couple things. There's like five lessons I have to have this beautiful life that people desire and things like that. And one of the things that, uh, number one, is to be present. A lot of times in this life, we think of the past, we think of the future, and we're not currently present in the moment that we are in, and we miss it. We're on our phones, we're doing something else, our brains are somewhere else, we're thinking about what's gonna happen tomorrow, what's gonna happen today, da 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 da, and we're doing all that stuff that we're not currently present in the moment that we're at. And this is the only guarantee that we have right now is being present in the moment that we're in. And to do that, I have to, when I go play hockey or when I go play band or enter softball or I'm hanging out with friends or things like that, I have to mentally think to myself, be present in this moment, Hope, and experience this so that I can have a memory about this moment. And so I encourage all of you guys to go ahead and be present in the moment that you are today. Take a moment and if you find yourself thinking about other things, doing other things and not thinking of where you're at at the moment, just take a breath and say, okay, I'm going to be present in this moment and whatever that is, then let's experience it. Number two, be kind. It is not hard to be kind. You have a choice to be kind or you have a choice to be not kind. Be kind to everyone. Everyone's struggling in this crazy, crazy world we live in. Everything that we do, everything around, people are experiencing all sorts of problems, issues, anything like that. But the number one thing you can do and always wins, no matter what, is to be kind to others. That includes humans, animals, anything. Just try to be kind. It takes two seconds. Number three, do the work. Anything that you want on this earth, anything that you want to accomplish, anything that you want to be, anything like that requires work. And for you to... Accomplish the things that you have set yourself forward to do. You need to do the work. So again, put forth the work and I promise you in the long run, everything will work out. I always tell people it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Don't worry. It's going to work out. Why? Because we're doing the work and slowly and surely at the end, you have accomplished your goals and you've accomplished things because you have done the work. Number four, dream. I want you to dream so big that your head explodes. I want you to think of everything that you want to accomplish, everything that you're passionate about, everything that you believe in, and dream. And dream so big and go after those dreams. Often we just have these dreams or little notions or thoughts that we are, I have this dream, but I can never accomplish it because of this excuse, this excuse, and that excuse. Throw the excuses out the window and just dream and go do the work and it will come forward i i there is nothing or anything that's not possible to accomplish on this earth and i recommend that each one of you dream big dream so so big that you can't even put your head around it and do the little work that goes with it and then when you look back and accomplish that dream you will go wow how did i get here it's because you did the work the last one, I know this kind of sounds rude and I, I'm sorry for it, but number five, don't let anybody be a dick to you. And I call that a dictator. Every time somebody gets upset or mad and they're like causing you to have emotions, don't let anybody dictate your day. You dictate your own day. If they're having a bad day, don't let their their mood or their what they're saying to you affect you because they're not your dictator. I always look at people and say, don't let them dictate your day. Don't let them dictate your day. I'm going to have an awesome day. So again, these are the five things that you can do in life to have a better life. Number one, again, be present, 100% present, not 25, not 99% present, but present. Always be present. Number two, be kind. It's not that hard. It's really, really not that hard. I know people think, oh, well, I'm mad at that person, and, or that person did this to me, or this happened, or this or that. Or that. It takes two seconds to be kind to somebody, and it wins every time. Number three, do the work. Do the work.
and number four, dream big. And number five, do not let anybody on this earth dictate your day. You have an awesome day, everybody. I hope you share this with people. Get the word out and just have a great day. And again, thank you for joining Hope and her 101 shenanigans. And I appreciate each one of them. And again, follow my five rules of life. And I promise you this will be a beautiful life for you. Have a great day. And I look forward to hearing responses and comments from you. And please, again, share this about because my job on this earth is to spread my wisdom that's in my head on how to have a better life in this and encourage people to have greatness and happiness in this life. So have a beautiful day, everyone, and thank you again.